Okay, this is the second video for this week. I banged my finger the other day. Hold on a second. Yeah, I got banged my uh, finger. I was putting some oil, like some boxes of solid oils into my car from the wholesalers and I got my finger caught. You know the pain that like shoots up into your armpit. Oof. I did that. Anyway, today I'm going to make apple currant crumble soap and this one is another fragrance that I'm using up and this is a scent perfique fragrance which I adore but I, I only had like a little bit in the bottle so I've got enough to make a batch of soap here. It's so good. It's like um, a tart apple but with that sort of um, like a strudel or apple pie kind of a scent but this is so good it's so good and I'm going to be using that step so we're just going to use up that fragrance oil so for colour I'm going to use some Mica Mama olive gold olive gold green which is in this little sachet I haven't like decanted this into a, a jar yet so I'm going to use that one and also inside I'm going to use some soap shreds that I saved from the other day which is here so these are just um, neutral colour and there's a few little bits of colour so I'll have to uh, put down the colours on my product file that are in these shreds as well as the mica that I'm using so that's what we're doing today so I'm just going to be making one loaf of this because I'm just using up that fragrance and that's all I've got to use so let's go okie dokie let's get started so I'm using my little bowl today as you can see through there it should be pretty simple soap because it's only got a bit of I've just decanted that colour it's only got a bit of colour and the soap shreds and that's just because I know it accelerates slightly so yes. one colour let's just be sensible for once So this isn't really a scent for spring, but I'd eat apple pie any time of the year, you know, or apple crumble any time of the year. So I guess it can fit into any season, but I guess it would be more of an autumnal kind of a scent, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. There is no law that states when you should make something, is there? Okay, so we are not a trace, but we are at a light emulsification, as usual. So, I'm going to put the colour in. And just have a spoon, and another spoon, just a bit, I don't need too much. I don't want it to be too over the top in colour. I'm just going to stick then those colours in, or that colour in. Let's pray. <laughs> I'm going to bring you in a bit closer. I'm just going to put the shreds in first into this little batch. And just push those down in there before I add the fragrance because I think I'm going to have to pour it pretty fast if it's going to accelerate. Hopefully it won't, but you never know. So they're in, and then in goes the fragrance. Seems to be okay actually. It's like baby poop. <laughs> baby poop. Now since it's decided to play nice, I'm just going to mix up a little bit of titanium dioxide and I've got a little bit of contrast on the... Let's do another line because that might help. That might help it make it, make it look a little bit better. So, another cocoa line like last time I made the last soap. Okay, 
So let's lighten that up a little bit. Might just make it look a little bit more interesting. Not going to be too much of a contrast, but it will be enough to make it look a bit different. I'm going to have to stick around that a bit. Okay, so I think we're thick enough that we can just pour on the top. So yeah, just be a slightly paler green on the very top. So I've got to go home in a minute because my doggy's been on her own all day. Not too long, but just coming up for four hours, which is long enough. She doesn't like being on her own for too long. She ended up getting naughty and taking things out of the bin and things like that. If I leave her for too long, she protests. Little bridey. She's naughty. So I've just got to go and see her at home. And I need to go and do some shopping this evening because Matt and I have no food. <laughs> well, we do have some food. Actually, I probably could rustle up something for this evening. that save me going today. Need to get some milk and a few bits. So I'll do that maybe and then go home. I don't know. I might just go up to Tesco's this evening. It's quite nice on a Monday night. It's always quite uh, empty. I think most people go shopping at the weekends, so it's not too bad in there in the week. I can't stand busy supermarkets. It drives me insane. This smells so good. I think I've scraped it all out. Okay, let's just uh, push that around a bit. I don't want that to be too uneven, you see. Let's give it a bang. Okay. edges. Sorry, this looks like messy, but I've got gloves on. Don't panic. <laughs> and a cloth nearby. Okay, so I'm going to just do the usual kind of a top. Just take it over a bit, just to make it look a bit more interesting. So those bits in there, majority of them are white. So, might look quite nice when we cut it. It's a bit of an odd soap, but you know, I've used up a fragrance. So there you go. <laughs> that is apple currant crumble. And I don't know what we'll call it yet because there's a few notes I need to take notice of and I might change the name. So I'll be back for the cut on that one as well. And see you later. Ta-ta. Ta -ta. Okay, good morning. We're back for the cut. The apple currant crumble soap which looks like this. <laughs> Let's just get it out of the mould. I'm hoping that it's going to look nice. Or at least, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to think about this one. It's like um, one of those soaps where you think, what was I thinking, you know? <laughs> Not a lot of thought went into the design, that's for certain. I just used up, you know, that fragrance and then some soap shreds that I'd got. So not a lot really is going inside of this soap, but it will, it certainly smells good. And that color is actually really nice. It's more like a pistachio color. It certainly doesn't look like an apple crumble. <laughs> and let's see what we got inside might surprise us. <laughs> it might not. So, Ooh, that's rather hard. That's what she said. Right. Oh, okay. Pretty basic. <laughs> so yes, it has the line. There's not really a lot happening in there, but it's alright. It's not the worst soap I've ever made. 
Right. Yeah, it's just little shreds. There's like, you can't even really see them because there's not much colour in those shreds because they were a neutral shade. There's a few bits of pink, like tiny pieces of pink and blue, but not really a lot happening. But it does smell good. It really does smell good. That cherry notes come through quite a lot that's in there that I was talking about. But yeah, it's rather a basic soap for that one. But it's okay, you know. They can't all be snazzy and amazing. <laughs> Makes the ones that are snazzy and amazing really stand out, I guess. But it'll sell in the shop because it smells really good. It might, it just might not sell on mine very well because it doesn't look that great, but it's definitely a good scent. It always surprises me what sells in store compared to what sells online. It's um, like lemongrass never sells online. Yet yeah, when I make it in the shop, it's one of the first to fly off the shelves. It's very strange. I think lemongrass is just one of those generic scents, but when people, the general public come and buy um, in store, then yeah, they'll go for lemongrass really strange really strange and I get asked for lemongrass soap when I'm in the shop too very weird but there you go okay so that's that one. Oh well at least you got another video this week however basic that is I'll just show you the batch of Lentwick farm that I made which is a rhubarb and strawberry soap because the first time I ever made it, it came out really, really good. But I did soap a little bit, let me just move these out of the way. I did soap a little bit warmer than usual. And I think that's why it decided it was going to play up towards the end of the making session. So I was filming it and it was just a bit of a nightmare. So I stopped filming it. But I'll show you one of the finished loaves. And it's here so you can see the top is sort of I had to really mash it down but this one I'm just gonna take one out the mold it's got a really nice swirl in there like the swirl came out well it should have come out quite nice like it normally does but I'll just cut one very quickly so you can see inside it because it's a really pretty soap well, it was the last time I did it. Let's see what we got this time. It's going to be quite hard because it thickened up, like I said. But I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Yeah, it is super pretty. Look, got a little heart in there. Okay, so I use some nice sort of pale pink and deep pink and. It's a very pretty swirl inside, but the top, yeah, it just went a bit manic. <laughs> but that is Lentwick Farm. So that one will be available with the rest of these because they were all made yesterday. So it'll be somewhere around the 30th of the month. So we let these go for about three weeks with that hefty water discount. I'm doing a 44% water discount. I used to do like a half, like 50%, like 50 but I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to show that one because it's just so nice. It's such a nice scent as well. It's lovely. It's lovely. Really, really nice and springy and get off, fruity and just lovely. So I'll carry on cutting that one, trimming up all the rest, and I will see you spoon. Ta-ta.